Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central. So today we've actually got a lot of stuff to talk about and something that has just recently hit the PTR that I don't think a lot of people have noticed yet and it's kind of weird of an update honestly. But let's get into that straight away because there are a lot of things that are interesting here. So Mercy has been tweaked with yet again. Now to be honest, it doesn't quite seem that Blizzard know exactly what they want with Mercy right now, but they are experimenting with things which is good. So the latest addition to Mercy has to do with the red in the ultimate and the rest charges. You now actually get two rest charges if you activate the ultimate and the cooldown will not reset. So the best way to sort of use this is to wait until there's about 15 seconds left on your rest cooldown, pop the ultimate and then use the rests efficiently. I can sort of show it on screen but yeah there are some different ways to utilize this. Either way point is that when you press Q you should be able to rest twice fairly quickly especially if you don't have the ability on cooldown. This mercy change is pretty interesting and I think it's gonna at least fix some of the issues we had, but Mercy is a very tricky hero to balance, especially because of Res in particular. Moving on though, we have another slight change to Mercy and that has to do with her Guardian Angel. It's sort of been reworked a bit and there are some weird things you can do with it. Some people manage to just launch themselves straight up in the air, but for the most part you can do this, as you can see here. You can Guardian Angel to someone and then sort of deactivate it and use it as a Widow Hook, kind of. You keep your momentum and I think this is Blizzard's way of allowing people to have this high mobility with Mercy that people had before using that bug or whatever it was but now it's actually kind of part of the ability what I did was that I held down shift W and spacebar which is guardian angel forward and jump and that sort of allowed me to slingshot myself past an ally and I'm not sure how I feel about this I think it's good that there's some mobility still in mercy but it is really a weird one to use and it kind of feels like it is a bug but the reason as to why I feel like it's not is because Bill Warnick went on the battle.net forums and said that there were more changes to mercy and Lucy and we'll get to that in a bit on the PTR and that there would be patch notes today. So the patch notes are going to be super late because of time zones and so on. But yeah, it does kind of make sense for them to tweak something like this as well and to get it with that patch. Moving on though, to fully complete what I found out about the patch so far that we have Lucio as well. So Lucio had a change made to him that we thought was a bug actually at first. Now apparently what's been done is that Lucio's small wall jumps that used to be able to generate a lot of speed. On PC you could bound your mouse wheel to jump and get these sort of bunny hops off and that would allow you to get a lot of speed. That feature has been patched out. That was what happened in the last patch. It was not a bug, it was actually a nerf to Lucio kind of. And a lot of people did utilize this on PC. However, the dev team have gone out and said that they've classed this as a bug and that people that used to abuse this bug can no longer do that and will play Lucio the same way that he's intended to play, the normal way of playing Lucio. And I thought this was kind of interesting because I did not see this as a bug at all. It's been in the game for forever but yeah apparently that's a bug so they've sort of patched that out and that is on the live client however on the PTR now Lucy has a slight wall right speed boost compared to before I believe it's just slightly faster so you still sort of have that same momentum and here it doesn't feel as different as before but yeah interesting choices by Blizzard there I'm not quite sure how I feel about it to be honest but yeah I thought I'd report about it a little bit more in depth since some people seem very confused right now and of course there are no patch notes from Blizzard so there's always gonna be just more confusion when and that is the case. Hopefully I've cleared it up a little bit for you though and this was what I was able to find out from the patch notes. It is interesting how Blizzard are treating the PTR right now and I think it's good that they are experimenting with things. However, they really have to try and release these patch notes as the patches go live. I feel like rather than just putting this patch live and then going home, it's not really necessary. Nobody would have minded or known even if there would be a PTR patch and this could have been left for today, Wednesday and just been updated then and then cleared up with patch out straight away but because it hasn't we sort of have these like 12 hours of confusion in between which I don't really think is that healthy for the community but hey whatever that is up to Blizzard hopefully they'll get better at that finally to round this up I want to talk about a thing that Jeff Kaplan has hinted at on the Battle.net forums so yesterday a lot of people were talking about the skins you might have seen the new Saria skins in yesterday's Halloween skins video I think it's a great skin but Jeff said it was a very sort of controversial skin for the Overwatch team he said that this skin is the single most polarizing piece of content we've ever made half of our team loves it, half of our team hates it. We told the half that hates it that it's okay to be wrong every now and then. Someone also followed this up and said, and sadly it looks like the best skin you've given her still. And I sort of agree with this person to be honest, it took them a while to make any sort of very outstanding Saria skins. But Jeff does respond with this as well, just 9 hours ago from the recording of this video, and said that she's got another killer legendary that you'll learn about soonish. 
So I thought you guys be interested in that. Now there are a few things this could be around. It could be yet another skin that they've added on top of the Winston 2017 BlizzCon skin, which is in-game right now as well. I'm going to show it on screen. But yeah, maybe they will do another push for the virtual ticket and just include yet another skin to get more people to buy the virtual ticket. Or alternatively, this skin might come out in together with some sort of update that is announced at BlizzCon. Or the last alternative, which I feel like is the most likely, is that Saria is getting a really good legendary in the Christmas event update, which should be around December 12th. But yeah, either way, Saria is getting another killer legendary soon-ish, so I wanted to update you guys on that as well. But with that, I think we are done talking about the most important news for today. There are some other little bits and bobs here and there, but I kind of wanted to focus this video on not too many things and have it be more of an in-depth look at the latest PTR patch instead. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Do like the video if you enjoyed it, and we do have a giveaway that you can enter as well. It's going to be in the description below. We have a couple actually, so I'm just going to pop them both down there. They're going to be just below the first couple lines of the description. But anyway, this subscribe for more Overwatch content as per usual. Until next time, take care and we'll see you then.